let's compare the fractions 1 fourth and 7 eighths, see which one's greater. So you could do it on a calculator, divide 1 by 4, 7 by 8, get decimals and compare them. You'd see that 7 eighths, it's much larger. You can also kind of look at this. How many times does 1 go into 4? It goes in there 4 times. 7, it goes into 8 one time with a little bit of a remainder. So much larger, 7 eighths is much larger. We could also find a common denominator though, just to make sure. So if we had the four and the eight, if we had something that they both went into evenly, we could then just compare the numerators. So let's just take four and multiply that times two. Four times two, that gives you eight. And we can't just multiply the four by two, we also have to multiply the numerator here by two, because two over two is one. So we're just multiplying by one. We don't change the value, just the way it's represented here. One times two is two, and two eighths, that's equivalent. That's an equivalent fraction to one fourth. Down here, we already have seven eighths. So let's just call this seven eighths. And now we have the same denominator. Compare the numerators. Seven's greater than two. Seven eighths, that's greater than two eighths. It's five eighths greater. So there you have it. Seven eighths is greater than two eighths. And since these are equivalent, 7 eighths is also greater than 1 fourth. That's it. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.